Hi there, ladies and gents. So today is day two of the 25 Days of Lipstick Challenge. And yes, today is my birthday, so I am showing you what I picked up for my birthday. Um, one of the items was a free item, but I finished it. It was a any size drink from uh, Dunkin' Donuts, so I've already finished that. Um, and then I have a few items that were like nearly free. So, yeah. Anyway, um, but today is day two of the 25 Days of Lipstick Challenge. And today I am wearing the NYX Butter Lipstick in Fire Brick Root. I think just Fire Brick. Not sure, but yeah. It's not focusing on it, but yeah, I think it's Fire Brick. It just says Fire Brick. Um, I wore this a lot over the summer. I really love red lipsticks. And this is like a very buttery, like it says, butter lipstick. Um, and uh, let's see, what else can I talk about it? Um, if I get to a Walmart or a store, I really, really, really love NYX. Um, there's one that I really want to try, which is the, I think it's a matte, and it's called Bloody Mary. <laughs> and it's a red as well. So it's like, I really want that one. But yeah, eventually I will find it and pick it up. But I love red lipsticks. Um, when I was not wearing my Maybelline Super stay matte inks this was probably the other red that I was wearing because it was so moisturizing I guess you could say yeah so anyway like I said this is items that I picked up for myself for Chris or my birthday and I probably will have like a haul for what I received for my birthday maybe on the 8th I believe I have it planned to film for the 8th, so if you want to see what my family got me, yeah, come back then. But these are items that I picked up for myself. Um, some of them are, they're like nearly free, like I had to pay a difference of uh, some of them items, so it's like, Sorry, this contact is starting to bug me. So if my eye starts watering or my nose starts dripping, it's because this contact is bugging me. Sorry about that. Anyway, I went to Walmart and I found in the, like they had some leftovers from Black Friday. So I found this pair of Nightmare Before Christmas um, sleepwear cuffed sleep pants and it just has Jack's face all over it and I picked I couldn't find anything smaller than a 3x so they're going to probably be a little bit baggy but yeah I'm going to quickly open them because I'm not returning them because I love Nightmare Before Christmas and yeah I couldn't find anything smaller if it was a 2x I would probably have been happy but they're probably going to be baggy, like I said, but they may not, because they are, they just have Jack all over the front, and it's a very thin, uh, fleece, very thin, so, yeah, um, there's elastic in the waistband, and, oh good, the drawstring is an actual drawstring so I can use that to tighten up the waist area but yeah I have a, a fuzzy shirt that I could wear this with and it'll be so toasty warm in fact that's probably what I probably will do after I finish this video is to take makeup off 
and get comfy because I'm pretty tired after going different stores. Okay, so I have a bag of things here. Um, I'm not going in any particular order. I'm just pulling from my bag of goodies here. Um, the next place I went was the jewelry box. Which is a really cool store. Um, it's got different jewelry. Mostly all stuff that not high quality, but costume jewelry. And some mix of good makeup and just beginning makeup and then I love lashes from there so that's why I mostly go there. I go there for lashes and those pom-pom keychains. Now I'm not sure if I showed these in another haul or not but I, I went there twice so this was from a previous haul or previous time I went there and I made a video and I don't think I uploaded it because it was too late to upload it. Well, I uploaded it but I didn't make it go live because it was kind of like wouldn't have fit in with my 25 days of lipstick challenge. So, yeah. Rambling, sorry. Um, so, I'm re-showing these. These are one of my favorites from the Cara La Beauty Lash Line. And it's just the number 20102. And right now, if you're wondering, I am wearing the Cara lashes in. Yeah. I am wearing the Cara lashes 118, which are my. I love the Cara lashes. I have a lot of the Cara lashes, so. These are very um, bold and long and really fluttery. I kind of call them my um, Grinch lashes, so maybe this year I will do a How the Grinch Stole Christmas kind of inspired eye look, maybe? I don't know. I may go and do one. And I may do a video for this one. I don't know if you would like that, but yeah. So the next pair of lashes I got, which are new to me, which are the one 12s. These look interesting. And these are like $129 a pair, so I think that's a really good price. And they are 100% human hair, so yeah. And then the last pair I got from a new brand, and it's called Eve Collection. And they are faux mink lashes. And I think I paid Two forty nine for these, so it's like a little bit more pricey, but they were gorgeous. You can't really tell, but they're like, um, they're calling them 5D lashes. Um, yeah. Silly nose is watering. So yeah, these looked really pretty. Multi-layer effect, natural looking tapered point. And I love the lashes that have like a more pointy edge because it gives you that cat eye look. And I really like that cat eye look, so yeah. The um, next place I pulled out here is from Sally's Beauty Supply. Um, I had a five dollar coupon like money coupon or whatever you want to call it um how do you want to i don't know how you would call it it's like money in store money i guess you could say i didn't really have to pay anything if i didn't go over the price but i kind of did so i had like to pay the difference so yeah because i bought a Caldero Crushed Metallic Shadow in um, Nebula, and this was $3.99. They actually had a few other colors, but it was like, um, I'll just get one and hope for the best for the next time I go in. 
but I have two of the other colors and I love these and I really like this purple. It's a beautiful purple color. I'm not going to open it right now, but I'm hoping to maybe do like this eye again, this eye look, but only transfer it into like purple coloring before the end of the 25 days of lipstick challenge. And then um, I bought a mini um, Sassage Vita or whatever. It's just um, the popular nail gloss topper for nail polishes that I've seen other YouTubers use. I have another one and it's like down to here and this was like $1.99 I think and I like to use them over top of glitter nail polishes because it's thicker but that's the a nail polish that I bought last year which is called Resting Grinch Face and then this is a old wet n wild fast drying formula so I like paid like $1.99 or something like that um, Yeah, 160, 106, I guess, is uh, the price difference I paid. Like, I had a $5 coupon, and then I paid the difference of what I went over. The next thing I got was from, um, from Hot Topic. I went there, and I kind of had a $5 coupon there. And they changed their birthday thing this year, so it's like you pay whatever price and then you get $5 off your purchase price. I saw these earrings, which I thought were kind of cool. I may take something off them because it was after the fact. After I got in the, out, out of the store, I kind of didn't realize it, but then they're just hoop earrings. And one has like some chains chain and some metal bars or whatever here they just look like that and they say I love k-pop and I do like k-pop so it's like they're cute I like them so yeah I haven't been in Hot Topic for ages so so yeah and then they were buy two get one free on their stickers and their um patches and i'm kind of like regretting not getting some patches because i do have a jean jacket and i could put them on the jean jacket it was like after the fact i was out of the store and it was like they're in the car or the truck and it was like oh, i should have got some patches instead of all these stickers but because i saw a really cool one from beetlejuice that i could have used on the jacket because I rarely wear that jacket, so I want to wear it, but it's like, uh -huh. But anyway, I picked up three stickers, and they were all $2.99. I picked up A Nightmare Before Christmas with the vampire toys. The toys made by the vampires, like the vampire doll and the duck, and then the, the jack-o'-lantern in the box. $2.99. Um, a My Neighbor Totoro sticker, and it says Fan Art Winner Hot Topic, $2.99. And the last one is a Beetlejuice sticker, and it's just this one. So it says Beetlejuice, 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 and this was also $2.99. So that's what I picked up from Hot Topic. And the last one is uh, Sephora. I did go into Sephora because I wanted to pick up my freebies and I also wanted to pick up some samples. So I'm going to pull everything out. Hopefully I can out of the bag. Um, so I will start with the freebie samples that I picked up. 
I picked up uh, the Dior, both the new Dior Savage, 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 however you want to call them. Um, I picked up one of each of the different scents um, in the line, and I have, my brother loves this, so I picked him up some samples um, for him. Hopefully they last till next summer so I can give them to him, but I'm not curious now. I have, let me see, I'm going to bottle of necklace the same. Okay, it's like pretty good size amount. So, he'll be happy about that, I'm sure. I like the smell of them too, they're really good. I just don't, I wish the price was cheaper for him because he would love to pick, he said he wants it a full size, but it's like 60 bucks. Crazy. So I have four samples for him, and then I picked up a sample of the Peter Thomas Roth Firm and Peel Gel. I like that stuff, so I, yeah, picked that up. And then... Um, the birthday freebies. Now, this is, the thing is, my mom and I don't go to the mall that often, so we don't get in there to get her freebie for her birthday, so, and usually when we get her freebie, I still get to keep it because she doesn't wear makeup, but it's like, it's free, so might as well pick it up. So, I had her choose the Kat Von D Longwear high pigment long uh, birthday kit so it's just got um, the tattoo liner um, a deluxe size tattoo liner a locket setting powder and three um, little samples of the some of her more um, her best selling liquid lipsticks I guess in um, Outlaw, Lolita, and Vampira. So, just a little one sample, one time use, and then get you hooked, and then it's like, meh. So, that, a deluxe size um, cat two liner, tattoo liner. And I do plan to do, now that I have a fresh one of these, I do plan to do a um, a, uh, like, dupe video for the, between the NYX Epic Link Ink and the Tattoo Liner, so that's great. And then a pretty good sized 1.4 ounces, or 49 ounces of, um, the setting powder, so that's pretty good, and I think... I'll probably use this and in my purse as a take along. Did they? No, nope, it's no puff or anything. It's just a pretty cute little container. It's got a little shaker in it too, so that's pretty cool. So I'll probably use this as a in my purse kit. So, like I said, I have a doubles of both of these, so they're going to be. Pretty awesome to have. And the last thing I picked up from Sephora with my own money for myself is a um, Sephora Ultra Shine Lip Gel. I was hoping this would be... They did not carry the... Uh, what is it called? Uh, oh, here it is. I was hoping it would be a good dupe for their, um, their gel that, their lip gel that Pin Up Pink, but now I'm looking at it, Pin Up Pink is a little bit brighter, but it's close enough that, that it'll work. And I loved this. I don't usually wear glosses because I can't stand the stickiness. And this one, 
when I did wear it a lot because I didn't want to wear it out or use it up and not have any more. Um, Okay, so it's a little bit more pigmented and darker than Pin Up Pink. So this is Pin Up Pink and this is uh, Mystic Pink. So a little bit of a bummer there, but if I shear this one out, I'm sure it'll be fine. It's like a Barbie pink, so that's good. So you'll probably see that in a video eventually. So I hope you enjoyed my rambling and everything so until next time i will see you in my next video yeah um yeah i hope you had a great day or evening and hope to see you in my next video at my next video bye